G'day all, welcome back to Dad vs. Son and our playthroughs of Great War Commander from Hexasim. And today we're going to go on with Scenario 3, Chateau Fury. Our situation report is Mondelmont, France, 9 September 1914. At the climax of the Battle of the Marne, while the German front fought to stabilise, Two companies of the 4th Hanoverian Infantry Regiment 164, 20 Division, advanced to seize the crossroads village of Mondement and the nearby Chateau. The position, some 36 miles south of the Marne River, was a spear point for the German offensive. French Zouaves hit back hard. German Captain Pergol tried to hold the Chateau against the 2nd Battalion of the 77th Infantry Regiment, led by Major Beaufort. Friendly and enemy artillery struck both sides and casualties were high. Finally, by nightfall, the French had lugged up a section of 75mm guns, levelled direct fire and blasted holes in the strong walls. The breaches made Pergold take stock of the situation. Many wounded, little support, low ammunition. His ragtag force withdrew north just as the Germans pulled back on the whole Marne front. The Battle of the Marne had been won and Wonderment was saved. So, we start at time zero with sudden death at seven. Uh, victory point marker is three for the Germans. The Germans are defending two orders, three discards. French attacking four orders, three discards and have the initiative. The open objective is M, which says that objective five, which is the chateau here, is worth three victory points. Uh, I've drawn a secret objective for each side and, oh sorry, the whoop, says that's worth, yeah, three victory points. Secret objective for each side, haven't looked at them as usual for Fog of War. The Germans hold all five of the objectives at the moment, French none. Germans set up second and seven hexes deep to start with. The French two hexes deep last, and the French had the first turn. Um, Forces-wise, we have Hauptmann Waldahl back, and he has Lieutenant Hertzier with him, six Fusiliers, one MG08, and a 150mm telephone for artillery. And I've set the Germans up like this, and it's basically... Yeah, it's messy because they don't have very much. So I've got the Hauptmann over here. And primarily he's looking after objectives two and three and can bring fire down here and a bit of support over here. I've got one Fusilier in objective five, which covers these four hexes effectively um, because we have building in all four hexes. Um, and the main reason for that is the chances of holding this to start with are not all that great. But keeping the French away from the other four objectives is probably uh, more realistic. I've put the lieutenant up here on the hill. This is a level one hill over here. He has three Fusiliers and the MG08. And because they're on the hill, they have line of sight to virtually the whole map, except for a couple of... Uh, dead spots, bit of dead ground behind the building here. Um, so that's what I've done. So these guys are basically looking after objectives one and four, and we'll see how that goes. We do have one other hill on the map over here to effectively the southeast of the board. Um, I'm staying away from that at the moment. German surrender is at seven. The French have Captain Fleury back. Lieutenant Antoine is also back. We have Lieutenant Tignaus, I think it is, and Lieutenant Labasse back again. 
and I've set them up into basically uh, four company groups um, with their eight line platoons, six Zouaves, and again they have a 155 mil telephone for artillery and they have a 75 mil gun and a team coming on at time three. So starting over on the French right flank, I've got Lieutenant Tiguous and three Zouaves, Lieutenant Labas with three, and then in the trees we have the line companies. So we have Lieutenant Antoine up front with five line companies effectively, and Captain Fleury to the rear with three. So the cunning plan for the French is to get Lieutenant Labas and his people up into the uh, woods up here and then assault into and take objective five with the support of Lieutenant Tiguous, who will try and also come up and then take on the Hauptmann and his people. Um, it's going to be difficult. On the French left flank with all our line companies, um, line platoons, they're going to cop the straight up the fronts with lots of guts and a little bit of smoke and steel. And they're going to advance up into the tree line through the uh, fields and then try and take out objectives one and four. So it will be interesting. Um, again, this is one that I've played a couple of times and it's come out differently each time. Um, so a lot of it comes down to the artillery. So special, oh, sorry, before we go on, the uh, surrender value for the French is 10. So the special rules is we have an initial barrage to start with. So after the French set up, the German player places one shell hole marker into three random hexes, break all formations in those hexes and reshuffle the deck afterwards. So First one is at B5. So we have shell holes here. The second is at F9. So we have shell holes on the road. And the last is at A9, which just miss, misses the French troops. Right, number two is later off map artillery. So each time a friendly artillery request order is made, do not roll for targeting. Instead, draw one random hex, break all formations in that hex regardless of side. If the hex is empty, strike the nearest occupied hex no more than three hexes away. And if, the, if we have an equidistant choice, then it's the uh, active players go. And the hedge is up here in H three and I three uh, exist only if the line of sight crosses the physical depiction of the hedge. Because we have these roads coming through the hedges here, um, we have breaks in the hedges. So if it goes along the road, then you can see there's no hindrance or anything else. And that is that. So Let's get into it. So we have four cards for defense for the Germans. We have six cards for attack for the French. And then we draw their strategy cards. And the Germans have picked up Undershoot. Displace your opponents on map SR and artillery impact markers two hexes in the direction of his map edge. Then proceed with regular artillery. So we're not doing spotting rounds, so this cannot be used as such, and it's just a single die roll. Uh, the special rules over rule that. And the French have got French 75s, off-board field guns, rapid fire and support, break an enemy telephone, this cannot eliminate it. So we can do that if we want, or again, just simply use it for a plus one. So let's see what we got. French are up first looking to get up there as fast as possible. And they have a recover, an advance, a fire, a fire, a fire, and an artillery request. So let's see if we can get some of this mad artillery working. So we have an artillery request. We simply draw a card, look at the hex, H2, and... 
we are at h2 and then we can break within three hexes so we can hit all these we can hit this guy we can hit over here and i am going to break what if the hex is empty blah 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 instead draw one hex break all formations in that hex so we can break this fusilier and we can break this guy if the hex is empty strike ah strike the nearest sorry can't do that it's got to be a nearest okay i was getting all excited so this one is two away this one is two away we'll do this guy so he's broken and that's our first order for the french second uh we can't do any of the fire orders everything we've got is either no line of sight or out of range so we will advance and i'm going to advance Lieutenant Labus and his people, and we're going to advance this way. Oh, I don't want to do that, do I? It's going to have to go forward, 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 and forward. Okay, so from the machine gun here, this is a blind hex because of the trees, and this is a blind hex. This is not because we're on a hill, but at least he'll have uh, two cover there. And that is is all we can do so french will get two new cards and we're over to the germans and they've picked up a move a fire an advance and a recover okay so they don't want to move that's for sure so i think what we'll look at is fire and recover so what can we fire at? And at the moment, we can fire at all these guys from the machine gun, because again, it's at uh, elevation one, all the way over to these guys, this guy, or this guy. Um, bum, 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 bum. So who do we want to shoot at? And this is probably the best guy to shoot at because he has no cover whatsoever and he's out in the open. So, first German order is to fire. We're firing for 8 and 2 is 10. Straight over to this guy. Uh, we have nothing to add to it. So, 10 and 10, 20. Taken a dislike to him already. And he is sitting there for seven. Do I have anything that can help him at all? No, no. I've got to go to ground. That's about it. I do have a probe, but that's on my recover. So I don't really want to do that. So the best I can do for him is go to ground. And we'll put some shell holes in there for him. At least he's got one cover now. So he's there for eight. Plus eight, 16, not enough. And he is broken. Right, so the next thing that the Germans could do is they can advance, move or recover. And again, they don't want to advance. They don't really want to move. Um, I'd like to save the recover, but I think, oh, do I need to do anything with that at the moment? Yes, I do, just in case some artillery falls down again. So we're going to do a recover. This guy is up here for 12. And we get an 8 and a German sniper at H5, which is German sniper. This bloke tripped over and let a round off. And this guy is back. And that is it for the Germans. And they will get two new cards we have a quick look for Defender only, and there's nothing on there. And we're back to the French, who now have their Recover. They have three fires again, and they have an Offensive. I uh, would have liked a move as well. Okay. So... 
offensive wise, if we did Labas and his people, this guy is going to jump the wall It costs a plus one, so it's going to cost him three to get in there, and that's as far as he goes. The further as this guy can go is three, four, five, and this guy would be two, three, four, but then he's out of uh, cohesion. So we're going to do Lieutenant Antoine for his uh, offensive um, and we're going to move this guy forward too. And let's see if the Germans want to do anything. And they do have a fire and they're going to opportunity fire with the machine gun. And we're at range one, two, three, four, five, six. So this guy and this guy can't reach. I forgot the plus one when I fired that for the elevation. I'll remember it this time. So this guy is firing for eight plus two is 10, and the Fusilier is 11, down into here. Plus one for the elevation is 12. And there is no hindrance from the uh, because of the elevation. So we have 12, nothing to add to that, plus six is 18. And our little line platoon is there for seven and two is nine. Plus four is 13, and he is broken. Next one is this line unit here, which goes two, can't be seen. Four stops there. Again, they fire for eight, 10, 11, 12 down to here. That's why I really want to get rid of that machine gun. Uh, 12 and 12 is 24. So we have 24. We're at now at time one. The Germans get a VP and go to four and we'll reshuffle the German deck. Uh, I'll take their fire card. We know they're doing opportunity fire. Right, there's no sudden death. Uh, there's no gas or smoke to remove. There's no reinforcements. Uh, Dig-ins, the French have no dig-in. The Germans have no dig-in. And both sides still have their strategy card, so that is that. So this guy, sitting here for 9, under 24, 9 and 12, <laughs> 21. Oh, God, he had a good go. Wow. 21. Oh, well. He's gone. We go up to time two and the Germans get another VP. Wow. And now we'll do the French deck. They're still doing their offensive. And let's be honest, this is uh, fairly realistically, you know, these blokes are advancing towards machine gun fire. Um, hey, throwing cards away. It's a long way down to get it. I'm getting too old for this shit. So again, no smoke, no gas, no sudden death, no reinforcements, no strategy cards, and we're up, up, and away with our next guy, which will be this guy here, who will go two, four, and that's it. And this guy will go three into there. That's as far as he can go. Uh, in fact, that's... Uh, it's a plus one into there. So that's two into there because we have craters, not trees anymore. Four into there. Again, these block line of sight. And then we have Lieutenant Antoine and this guy who will go two. And then they'll go four up into here. And again, we bring down murderous fire of eight, 10, 11, 12. Oh, plus 11 is 23. These Germans are not holding back at all. Okay, and this guy's here for 7, and 2 is 9, and 2 is 11, and 4. And Lieutenant Antoine is there for 11, 
and 10 is 21. He gave it a good go as well. And that's our offensive. We have nobody who can fire back as part of the offensive. So that's our first order done. Uh, so we're going to have to do our recover. So second order is recover. We'll do Antoine first. He's there for 12. He gets a three, so he's back. The line unit with him is there for 12. We get a nine, so he is back. This gentleman here is there for 10. We get an eight. He's back. The other one's there for 10. We get an eight and a French event, which is blaze. Place a blaze into a building of woods hex closest to a random hex. So this guy is back. The random hex is E10. So we're going to have a blaze in there, which is not a good start for the French. So E10, so we've got shell holes there, and that must have set off a blaze. Okay, and then we have this guy over here who's sitting there for nine. And we get a seven, and he is back as well. Righto. So we have three fires for the French. One, two, three, four, five, six is the furthest we can fire. We can't do anything, so we'll keep those. French get three new cards, and we're back to the Germans, who have an advance, a move, and a command confusion. So, and uh, they don't want the move, and they can't use the action. They don't want the command confusion, and they can't use the action. The advance has got an action they could use. But at the moment, I think we'll get rid of that as well. They can discard three and they'll get four new cards. And we're back to the French, who finished with three fires. And have an offensive, an artillery request, and an artillery request. Okay, so let's see if we can do anything to start with. Um... What can we do? We'll do an artillery request as the first order. And it's going to drop at C4. And that is there. Okay, so C4 is there. And we can go to the closest hex that within three. This guy is two, this guy is two, and we will break the formations there. Like that. Righto. Okay, just give me a tick and I'll be back. Rightio, so sorry about that. Just had something I had to quickly do. Right, so we've done that. I think the next thing we are going to do is an offensive again. And we are going to move, we're going to activate Lieutenant Antoine and his people again. So this guy is going to go two, three, uh, sorry, two to here. Now, this can't fire. One, two, three, four, five, can't reach. One, two, three, four, five, can't reach. So he's gone two, three, this guy can fire. He's the only person that can. Five. So do the Germans want to fire? And I think they do. So they are going to opportunity fire. They can't do a great deal, but they're going to do it. So this guy is going to fire for five, plus one is six for the elevation. And get 6 plus 7 is 13. And our little man here is there for 7. And 10 is 17. He's moved 2, 3. He goes to 4 there. Again, this guy fires for 5 plus 1 is 6. 
plus 10. He's taken a dislike to him. 16. Again, that little man is there for 7. And 6 is 13, but we have a sniper. And the sniper hits a G6, which is here. And we can take out this guy. Okay, so this guy is hit. Next guy to come forward is this one, and he'll go two to here. One, two, three, four, five, can't reach. He'll go three to here. Again, he fires down there for six. Plus 11 is 17, and we have a German event. This guy is getting his eye in. And the event is Alstraktik. You may displace a friendly leader and any friendly unit stacked with him into an adjacent hex. Um, no, I don't think we want to do that at the moment. So, no. So we're shooting at this guy. He's in the fields. There's, again, like I said, there was no hindrance or anything else. There's no cover in there. Um, 17, he's there for 7, and 7 is 14. Um, I've got nothing, so he's hit. Next to come forward is this guy. He goes 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He goes 2 to here. Again, firing for 5 plus 1 is 6. Let's see if he's still got his eye in. He sure does. Six and nine, 15. And again, our little man is there for seven. And eight is 15. Uh, I'm going to give him our plus one. So he has not been hit. So he's gone two. He goes three. Again, firing for six. Plus eight is 14. And a German event. And that event is deserters. Draw a random hex. Retreat the closest out of cohesion German unit three hexes. Uh, no German units at this stage are out of cohesion. So I'm just going to draw the random hex anyway. There it is. G7. Doesn't mean anything. Righto. So we're shooting in here to 14. He's there for 7. And 9 is 16. And we have a French event. Recon, your opponent must reveal a secret objective. So we look at the German secret objective, and it is G. Objective 3 is worth 2 VP. And seeing as the Germans hold all the objectives, objective 3 up here with 2, uh, sorry, objective 3, yep, with 2 VP, they go up to 7 victory points. Right, O. Oh. So we've gone one, two, three. We'll come up one more for four. Again, he fires for six. Plus six is 12. He's starting to get a bit tired on the bolt now. And we're there for seven. And nine is 16. And he's fine. Third guy comes forward. One to there. Again, firing for six. Plus six is 12. He's there for 7, and 6 is 13. He moves forward for 2, and again 6, plus 10 is 16 this time. He's starting to get his wind back, and we're there for 7, and 7 is 14, but we have a French sniper hitting at D8. So he must have dropped his rifle when he got hit. He's let a round off. And then we have Antoine and this line unit moving forward. And they go one to there. Again, he fires for his six. Plus two is eight. Uh, the line unit is there for nine. Plus seven is fine. Lieutenant Antoine is there for nine. Plus eight is fine. And we have a French sniper hitting at N6. Over here does nothing. They go forward for two. We shoot again for six. Plus five is 11. We're here for nine. Plus 10 and a French event. 
Valor, a friendly unit adjacent to an enemy formation. We don't have any. And then the lieutenant's there for nine as well. Plus nine is 18. And another French event, which is raid prisoners. Eliminate one enemy unit out of cohesion. Again, nobody's out of cohesion at this moment. Okay, and then we go forward again. And he fires again for his six. Plus four is 10. The line unit is there for nine. Plus eight, he's fine. The lieutenant's there for nine. Plus four, and he is fine. And that's as far as they're going to go so they can keep everybody within their command radius. So we've done artillery. We've done offensive. Now we can fire. Um, we can only do the one lot of fire, so we'll fire with these guys. We have five plus two is seven. I would love to fire up in here. And we will stuff it. So we're going to fire seven. Uphill is six for the elevation. Uh, sorry. There's our fire order. We're going to add a two to it for Elan. So we're firing for eight. Plus 12 is 20. Yay! Okay, so we have 20 fire going up there. We do our shuffle again for the French. We're really getting through this dex, aren't we? Okay, so we'll do the shuffle. Again, we have not reached sudden death. We're at time three now and the French get their reserves, their replacements the Germans get another victory point taking them to eight uh, no smoke or gas, reinforcing unit and this has to go on our board edge so I'm going to stick it in the trees up on the hill right here like that uh, dig-ins, there's nothing for the French, nothing for the Germans, and the French get a new strategy card, which is anti-gas strategy, which is no good. It's only for 1916 onwards, so again, a plus one. And now we have 20 firepower into here. And the Germans have nothing to help. Okay, we'll get rid of that opportunity fire of theirs so the first guy is the fusilier who's here for nine and three is 12 and six is 18 which is not enough and we blow him away with his bloody machine gun and that's two vp for the french taking the germans down to six and then we have the lieutenant there for 13 Plus 11, he's fine. And we have a German sniper hitting at H3, which is here and does nothing. Righto. So the Hauptmann is there like that. We've finished with the French cards. And we're over to the German. So French, all of these are in cohesion, in cohesion, in cohesion. And the Germans have an artillery request, a fire, and a route. Okay. So fire-wise, again, they're not looking all that flash. They can give two orders. So I think the first thing they're going to try and do is route out those French troops. So they're going to do that. So we'll start over here. There for eight. We get a four, nothing happens. The guy in the middle for eight. We get an eight, so he is suppressed. And then this eye on the right, again for eight. And we get a nine, and he goes back one. Righto, so that helped. And then they're going to call in artillery, or are they going to shoot? I think they'll shoot. So this guy is going to shoot at this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Whoop. He's feeling bad already. 
Okay, so shooting for six again. Nothing to add to it. Sorry. Here's our fire. We are going to add a plus two using this action, which gives him eight. Plus seven is 15. And we have a German event, which is... Hero, if not already in play, place the German hero in a friendly hex, rally one broken unit. So our German hero will come into the chateau and rally this guy. So it can rally a unit, cannot rally a formation, which is what the, uh, the lieutenant is. Right out. So we're firing into here for 15, and our little man is there for seven. Do I have anything to help him? No, no, no. Yes. So I'm going to play go to ground, and we'll put shell holes there. And that will give him eight again. So eight. Plus seven is 15, which is what we had, so he remains just suppressed. That's the end of the German turn. They'll get four new cards. Uh, have a quick look for any nothing on there. And then we look at them for cohesion. And this guy is out of cohesion now. And this guy is out of cohesion now. Uh, because the command radius is zero, they're not on the board edge, they don't have a weapon, and they're not on an objective. Right, so back to the French. What time are we at? We might do one turn each and then call it quits. So the French now have two fires, artillery request, a move, and a command confusion. Um... Okay, no recover. No recover. Okay, let's do an artillery request. We have been a little bit lucky so far. Let's see if we can keep it going. And we get it at L4. And L4 is here. So again, 1, 2 or 1, 2. And we will break the Hupman and his... Fusilier. Just like that. Yeah. Right, so we have two fires, a command confusion, and a move. And I've got no idea what the Germans have got. So I'm going to do the move as our second order. And I'm going to activate Lieutenant Antoine and his people. This guy can't go anywhere. This guy's going to go first. He can move one. So he goes uh, up there. And then we can see if the Germans can fire. And they can. Okay. So they are going to fire. And this guy's going to fire. So he's firing for four. Plus one for downhill now is five at this guy. Uh, do they have anything to add to it? And yes, he's going to, well, he's not going to do that at the moment. He's not going to add anything to it. So it's going to be five plus six is 11. And that guy's there for eight. And two is 10. <sighs> Which hits him. Do I have anything to help? And I do not. And if I add one to it, it's still 11, which means because he's moving, he's still hit, so he's just gone. And that's two VP to the Germans, first French blood. Righto, this guy's going to move next. And he is going to go one to here. This guy's going to gain fire for five. Plus seven is 12, and we have a German event, 
and that event is captured papers. Look at the opponent's hand, discard one card, then reveal one opponent's secret objective. Righto, so if we look at the French hand, we have a command confusion. They're not going to throw that away for us. So we have a fire with an ambush and a fire with an engineering works. So they are going to get rid of our fire with the ambush. And then we'll look at the French objective, which is objective A, which is number one is worth one VP. And of course, number one is over here. So the Germans get one VP. Okay, uh, so shooting at this guy for 12, he's there for 7, plus 9 is 16. He's moved 1, he moves 2, shoot at him again for 5, uh, plus 12 is 17, and we have time again, and we're at time 4, and now 10 German victory points. We shuffle up the German deck again. Okay, no sudden death roll. No gas, no smoke, no reinforcements, uh, no dig-ins for anyone. And both people have a strategy card, so that is fine. So we have 17 firepower against this guy who's there for 7. Plus 7 is 14, not good enough, but we have a French sniper hitting at D8. And a French sniper hitting at D8 does nothing, and this guy is broken. Which leaves our little people here, and they're going to move together to here. Again, firing for 5. Plus 8 is 13. And we're going to add a plus two for crossfire to that. Take into 15. We have seven, eight, nine for the platoon. Nine and seven is 16. And we have nine for Lieutenant Antoine. Plus eight is 17. He's fine. We have a French sniper hitting at K4 right here and we are going to take out the Hauptmann. Bang! And that's three VP. They lose one, two, three. So the Germans are at seven VP. Right. So we've moved one, two, we move three, over to here again, firing for five. Plus eight is 13 and a German sniper. And the sniper will hit at 05. Over here does nothing. And we have the line unit there for nine. Plus 11, he's fine. And a French sniper at L8 does nothing. And then Lieutenant Antoine for nine. Plus 6 is 14. He's fine as well. And they move on to here for 4 and take control of objective 1, which gives them 1 VP. So the Germans lose 1, French gain 1, and the Germans are down to 5 VP. Now, I think he can still get a shot in there. He surely can. Okay, so again he fires for 5, plus 7 is 12, and now we have the uh, platoon in there for 6 and 2 is 8, plus 8 is 16, and the lieutenant is in there for 7, 8, 8 as well, plus 6 is 14, and a French event, an avant you may rally a friendly unit or increase your surrender level by one. And we will rally a friendly unit. This guy here. 
Okay, so these guys can still move two more and they will move into the building here. And again, he can fire for five plus nine, that's 14. And the lieutenant, uh, sorry, the uh, platoon is in there for seven, eight, nine, 12. And five is 17. And the lieutenant's in there for 12 and six. And he is fine as well. And that concludes our move, which leaves me with one more order I can give. And I'm going to give a fire order. And I'm going to give it to the 75 millimeter cannon over here. And I'm going to try and take, well, I could try and take him out. I could. And then they've got no leaders whatsoever. And that might be the best bet. It's a, it's a bit of a longer shot, but let's have a go. Righto. So a fire order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Righto. 12. And we get five fives at 25. It hits. And it hits for nine plus eight is 17. Not enough to kill him, I don't believe. So he's there for 13 plus two is 15. And... And if he adds his plus one, he's still only at 16. No, he's gone. Wow. And we've taken out both their leaders. That's another three VP against the Germans. One, two, three. The Germans are down to two VP. The French have completed their three orders. They will get five new cards. And then we'll look at their cohesion. And this guy is out of cohesion. This guy remains out of cohesion. This guy is in cohesion. And that is good. We get rid of the German fire order. And we have the Germans with a fire and an artillery request. So I think the first thing they're going to do is the artillery request. And it's going to land at E9. And E9 is here and we have a unit at one two one two three one two so we will break this unit here oops throwing counters away and that's two vp for the germans i'll just pick up that counter i dropped so far down okay which leaves them one more order to give, and they are going to fire. Um, so he may as well fire again at this guy here. So firing for four plus one is five. Plus six is 11. And our man is there for seven. Plus nine is 16. And that's it for the Germans. They'll get four new cards. One, two, three, four. We look at their cohesion. And this guy is out of cohesion. And this guy is out of cohesion. So this is the only cohesive unit on the German unit on the board. And we'll call it quits there. And come back with the French turn. So we're at time four. 4 VP for the Germans. The Germans have lost both their uh, leaders and a platoon. The French have lost two platoons. We've gotten up to a, um, uh, objective one. These guys haven't even really moved yet. We've advanced once and that's sort of it. Um, and the captain hasn't moved. We've got a fire here and that's it. So take care, be good, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.